Hi everyone, it is Matthew again, and as I promised in the last video, I'm actually going to do a video of this game, Omasai 2. So, quickly, I've set up the route and everything, what we're doing. We're meant to be going in this stop here, uh, so I'm going to quickly reverse. At least the first, of course. Quickly reverse. Passengers up and then along the way I'll talk about this game and what map we're on and all that stuff. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Go to the big front. I can pick them up. Front. There we go. Got the big arm. Open the doors. Good name, good name. Hello. 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 Hi. Well, he's, this is a Polish map, but these people s still speak German. Kind of annoying. But whatever. This boss is in a Roma bird livery, which is not a map, but it does, it's a nice red livery, so it doesn't really matter. Can you put the light on, machen? Look at the darkness today. Eight, six, there we go. Uh, let's sort it out. Close the doors and let's go. Let's read the directions. It's left here. I'm going to quickly turn down the game for you. Uh, Right, hopefully that should be better for you now. Um, so anyhow, so this game is called Omicide 2. And at the moment I'm doing the... I'm playing on this map called... This is a mod map called Project... Uh, Shrezen, or Shrezen, however you say it. And at the moment we're driving this man, D80... Or SD two, SD two hundred, or SD. Oh, okay. No one wants to get on there. Um, SD eighty four or eighty three, and this boss I believe is from the nineteen eighties. Nineteen eighties man bus it comes standard in the game. Um, and yeah, so this is the project. Stres, Stres, in map, and. This map is pretty good. It's um, not that hard to install. It comes with all the stuff in the files that you need. It doesn't require additional downloads. Whatever. It's rubbish like that. And. Um. A sec. Um. So. Yeah, this map is pretty cool. Um, so, anyway, this game has said it's called Omsi 2. Um. It, come, it came out December last year. Um, I never had the original uh, Masai, um, as, and that was because, um, I never had, uh, I never thought to buy it before then, um, but anyhow, this game is actually alright, it's, uh, probably one of the best boss sims out there, you could say, the original one is, um, but, it's problems are, it's not that complete, and, um, it is quite hard to install mods on it. Oh, Wait. At least that's the back doors go open. They have to. Have done. Yeah, door sounds on this bus are pretty good. Which sounds anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, this route is 50. Line 57, it goes from Color Jacta, I'll be said that to Was or Ser Well, however you say that. Um, and this game is pretty realistic, it's got very big, uh, it's got a lot of fundamentals in it. Um, 
you don't want to get on. Um, got a lot of fundamentals here that make the idea of the game quite good, but the general state of the game generally is it's not too bad, but it definitely could be improved because it is quite kind of unstable the game itself, and um, it's very hard to install stuff. Uh, and it is very expensive. It's not exactly worth twenty-six pound. It'd be worth, I'd say, thirteen pound or whatever. But uh, yeah, whatever. Um, so left it, and. So anyway, um, I don't know if I'll do more videos in this game. Um, depends what you'd actually want me to do with it, but this game is alright. But I think when, as I said in my last video, when Boss Sim 2012 comes out, no, when Boss Sim, when I get Boss Sim 2012, hopefully for my birthday, whatever it is, I get it. Um, hopefully I should be playing that. That game is actually pretty cool. Um, you know, so. Yeah, but to this boss, it's a man, it's a man SD84. I think it's from the 1980s, I think. Um, drives alright, has decent enough speed. Um, isn't the oldest boss in the game? The oldest boss in the game, I believe, is the man uh, SD. Man SD77, which is from I think 1975, possibly. Um, and the newest boss in the standard game is the D92, which I believe is from the 90s. I believe 1994, I think, possibly. Yeah, I think 1994. There are several mods that I have installed in this game. That, um, about the newest boss I have in the game at the moment is the DLC. It from this DLC called the Hamburg from the Three Generations DLC pack, which is basically um, this boss from this age boss from 2013, which is the Taro V2, um, a low floor uh, boss. There's a Bender version from 2012, but yeah, there's all sorts of ages of bosses you can get for this game. And the general idea of this game is pretty cool. Um, the actual uh, Problems are with it is it's coding. It's not coded very well, so state stability of it is not that great. But it isn't isn't too bad. Um, yeah, this the, this bus isn't the newest bus, but you know it's all right with its age. Um, you can get this bus from the 60s, which I have in school, which I might do a video of one day on map. Um, which is a Icarus 260, I think. Um, and that bus is really old and it's a manual, so it's quite hard to drive. Um, it's pretty interesting, really. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, there are several routes on this, um, this, uh, Plan, this map you can do. There's all sorts of lines you can do. Um, which they all have the longest route you can do, I believe, is line 63. It takes about 45 minutes to do. That takes you through some quite nice scenery, really. Uh, there is there is a line. Hello. Uh, I believe there is a line called a line. Uh, line 59 or 58, um, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, that takes you through some really nice scenery, and it actually takes you through a very remote part of the map, which is actually a really cool place to kind of go, I suppose. Um, got through the track but it went red. <laughs> Turn. You wonder why I'm using? I'm using my G27 for this game, and yes, it is compatible with a lot of steering wheels, and it does. Actually, this game probably run a lot better if you ran it on a separate hard drive, which I don't have, but I've heard it does run better because it takes quite a lot of space. If you run it on a separate hard drive, it does actually... Um, it does actually do things a lot better, you know, so... Oh. 
Ja, 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 But the bus stopped breaking on. That's why it was going so slow. Two. Yeah, these buses are pretty nice. Um, the biggest bus I found you can get at the moment is either the Mercedes Bendy bus, uh, which is a. Uh, Sitaro from 2000, I think. Um, or it's either um, this man, Lion City DD, which is pretty darn big. As for the rear doors, sliding doors, which is just so cool. Literally, it's awesome. So flipping cool. But anyhow. line has about 12 stops on it and it takes usually about 25 minutes half an hour to do which is decent thing there are maps in this game where you can do routes which will take you absolutely ages and I mean ages I mean one route I did took me about an hour and a half to complete literally so straight on here But you can drive this game with a keyboard, but it is pretty impossible to drive, like, literally. But I mean, literally hard to control with a keyboard. Controlling a game like this with a keyboard is not easy at all. I tried it myself, and it was pretty much impossible, which is why I have to use my steering wheel. But see, it kind of feels a bit more realistic with the steering wheel, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, the sad news is, well, I suppose it's not that sad, it's the company to make this game, the director's left, he's had enough, so the only thing that's coming out of this game now, the Omsi franchise, is a patch in the middle of October, which hopefully it's going to fix the coding and stuff, and uh, add uh, some nice stuff, uh, hopefully. Um, This bus does struggle on hills a bit, but generally it's alright. It actually does pretty well. I mean, obviously that bus there, which is a standard AI bus, that bus is uh, of a decent the new age, so it does actually accelerate pretty well, considering its age. So, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Turn the bus stop brake off so we can go. There's a lot to do in this game, definitely. There's a lot to do. There's a lot that can be done. Uh, just is quite hard to do, but I suppose if you're a pro with this game and you know everything, you've played the first game, know how well the tricks are and it's all the maps and things, then I suppose it isn't too bad. Uh, but the new user like me was pretty hard to learn how to get, this, get stuff in this game to work. No, it's 40 round here, but no point doing 40 you won't get anywhere any Do excuse my very hard break, it is quite hard to... It is very hard to get this game, you know, get get an old bus like this to stop without jerking it quite hard, so... I don't know if she wants to get on, does she? You want to get on? Okay, let's go! Yeah, the, D the D92 is a pretty nice bus to drive, I'll be honest with you. It's very, very, it's pretty fast and uh, sounds good. The only slightly annoying thing about sounds is the electric door sound, but, you know, I get used to them. They don't bother me that much, so. 
uh, stop the quest here. Okay. Let's stop that up. Piece that. This light here, where my mouse cursor is, goes off. That means we can go. And go! Yeah, overall, this bus does do the job pretty well. This sounds alright. So, it's okay. Uh, not too many stuff left now, hopefully. Oh, the little girl out on her own. Where your parents love. You know, can't be out in Poland in at 2046 at night, you know? Too dangerous, you know? Can't, can't trust, can't trust uh, the streets of anywhere now, can you? With all these crimes people talk about. Whatever BS they want to go on about. Just rather it's amazing, so... Coming up to the final few stops. We've gone down this road, I'll slow down here, and pull across, and here will be our final stop. So, pretty, a pretty tight turn, but whatever. And here we are, our last stop. Basura. Uh, bus stop break on, doors open. Uh, did it right. Actually, wait for that to uh, uh, turn the engine up. Electrics. <sighs> so, so that is um, Sai 2 for you. Tell me if you want more. I'll try and do maybe a couple more videos of this, possibly. But anyway, that's the game for you, pretty much. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Do be sure. Comment, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. But for now, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.